north here that is secret and hidden. But we'll be engaging that in all good time. Uh, so, I really feel like buying this. 80 requisition. I have to deal entirely all of our food with trade routes, I guess. And when you zoom in, it's really cool. They actually, you can see the trade routes and when the food shows up and all that sort of stuff. So that's always awesome. Okay, so there's no more unrest in here. We can push forward with him as well. Oh, he is starving. Let's load up foods there. There we go. Now you're not starving so much. These guys are all automatically having done that. Seems very, very low on food. Now these are workers. I can actually deploy them. Hey, that's food, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely food. So I can deploy my workers into this farm here and get some work out of these farms to build me a food resource for my army. Now, where's the. Oh, it's in here, right. So there's recruit units. So I can recruit the workers, the skirmishers, and the slingers. So I'm gonna get two slingers, two skirmishers for now. See how our money looks after. And these guys are starving. These guys here, like they're a very easy kill. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with most of my units. Capture uh, the the Durantasia. There's my stutter kicking in. Dur, 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 dur. And yep, he's gone as well. So we'll take this forest over here. And we'll have everyone capturing this village here. Excellent. Okay, and I have lots of money. I have ridiculous amounts of food. The economy has managed very, very well so far. And oh, we have a little rebellion happening over here. Now, why are these people upset? They have no wood, so who cares? Their happiness is going down. Does F1 for more information? Maybe if I build them something, they'll be happy. No, that's units. I could just raise this city. I don't actually need it for anything. But that's getting income. It's hard to tell whether I should or not take that. Um, but never tells me why their happiness is going down. It's, it's not because they're starving. They don't have a lot of wood, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, so it, it flips. So I might have to raise these cities here. God, it really sucks to have to raise these, but I, I feel like I have to. So I'm going to raise that city. I'm just going to recapture that one and re-raise it. Can I burn it down faster than I can capture it? There's a good question. Try and limit the civil unrest. Um, okay, so we have Carbon Army. It looks like this is not getting fed properly. Why would that be? Um, moderate high. So we got a farm here, which has twice as many workers as it apparently needs, and it's producing plus 20 fish. Okay, well, let's take one of the workers out of this, and we'll put it over to here, that little farm over there. That'll be an overall net plus. Um, how did I shift the screen around? Oh boy, this changes everything for me.
Okay, so these are not going to be cities I can hold on to for any amount of time, it seems. Let's see if I can steal some from this farm here. I guess I keep my dudes uh, resupplying. No food for him to load up here. That's sad. Okay. There comes these northern tribes. And they seem to be just kind of uh, all slingers. They're dying pretty fast, actually. Charging into battle. That's not going to last very long. Maybe it's just the number of units I have here. Because we have our slingers, slingers, slingers. Okay. They're all. They're all pretty hungry. Oh, I got my cavalry back as, as well as this dude, so let's rally them over here. Yeah, these slingers are not quite the unit for facing off against the legionary. Dying very, very quickly. It's weird that they don't have any kind of battle tattoos or any of the other normal stuff you associate with the barbarian. The barbarian hordes. Okay. Raise that city as well. Burn it to the ground. I head north and raise that city. And these defeated units have nowhere to go until this place rejoins them. So they just kind of hover around there for a while. Uh, so, oh, we move into here. Seems that we're getting enough food. Interesting. Just a small little smidgen of a move was all it required. Uh, this is Titanus. Not Titanus, Titus. Titanus would be a, some sort of almost an STV. Um, and here it is the Alps Montes. Now, this is Octodurus. All these names, of course, are going to be moderately. Ethnocentric because they all have names that are European in origin. Gotta be really nice to figure out how to please these people. Can't quite go over there just yet. Nope. Okay, well. Let's get our cavalry units pulled back just a wee bit. Don't need them to be in the front just yet. Let's see, does he have any archers? He does! No, that is some sort of pikeman. That is definitely not something I want to engage with these units. Legions! Poor cavalry archers. I got my uh, general in the front there. Anything happening in the flanks? Nope. So you can actually flank them right here, kind of, to do 
attacks from their sides. And it works out well enough. You get initial bonuses on the combat for that. The combat. Flank, negative 20. Awesome. Flank, negative 20. Awesome. Flank, negative 20. There we go. So that's another thing completed. I've now captured all of these multiple times now, I guess. Can I load up some food from here? Yeah, okay. And I'll tear this one down a notch as well, because it looks like it will eventually go back into enemy control. But in the meantime, uh, these will all be severely weakened for, I guess, my next encounter. I don't know. Okay, I think if I move next to this, I'll get, I can get restocked. I think this is a friendly... Sigwinia. Yeah, this should be a friendly. So, let me load up my foods. No? Okay. See, by capturing these things here, I can, I can actually lease them out to cities like this, so I, I will gain a little bit of extra incomes. Uh, all the while, uh, the, the powerful legions are just getting massive skill ups down here in the south. Uh, everything here is starving. I think there shouldn't be much opposition from this area anymore. Should be mostly a thing of the past. And, oh, this guy, poor guy starving. Once he captures this cattle farm, he should be able to get some food back. I might have to actually turn around if uh, things are that bad. There, yeah, I have to resupply. You can resupply from this farm ever so slowly. See, this one's going to collapse very soon. Mm -hmm. So this one's super, super fast to collapse. So this may be just kind of a fool's errand, if you will. These guys are starving, so it'll be very easy to kill. You reap what you sow. I don't know what that achievement is. I kind of miss being able to kill people because uh, having these same tribes recycle over and over and over and over again gets old pretty fast. Can I not load food from there? It will not let me. And that one's out of bounds, so. No loading of foods can be permitted. Yeah, I think this is a fool there, and so I'm going to capture this one one last time, and then basically head these legionaries to the front. I mean, the the time it takes to actually raise these cities is insane. On the plus side, my legionaries. Proving that they can uh, do many battles with many foe. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. Um, what's the bridge of Arar? Bridge the Arar. Okay, I can do that. That requires me to construct a building. Right there. Right. Maybe I gotta right click. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So I right click there and boom shaka laka. Shazazel Shadam. As the enemy horde comes starving across the way. It's weird, they don't always scavenging. He's trying to steal some food from me. So he doesn't capture, he scavenges. He's a simple person. Oh well. We'll have our uh our bridge created. These guys all loaded up. Um, getting close to it. And we will continue with the raising. Oh, 
slowly get our legions over this way, and it will take time. Laurentius, yeah, has begun in the rebellion. 